Hey, John Cruz, Spro Professional Angler here, and I've got a signature line of crankbaits from Spro, and that is pretty much what I'm known for with the Spro Corporation, but that's not all I throw from Spro. I have caught a ton of fish on the Spro Bronze Eye Frog 65. Now that's the original. That's the, that's the frog that basically put frog fishing in mainstream bass fishing uh, within the last 10 years, man. And I have caught a ton of fish, especially in tournaments on this bait. Now, anytime the water temperature gets above, I'd say about 60 degrees, that frog is liable to come into play. And as Dean Rojas has shown us over the years, don't pigeonhole frog fishing just over top of matted vegetation. Of course, it's really good over matted vegetation, but it's also pretty good around open water. Uh, you can fish it around docks, you can fish it around laydowns. Uh, it's much more versatile and much better bait than anybody had ever realized uh, until he you know, basically showed the world how many different times of the year that that thing works. And like I said, anytime that water temperature gets above 60 degrees, all the way through the fall, the, sh the shad start coming back up shallow uh, in most parts of the country in the fall. The frog definitely works all through that time period. And then you get late into the year, the water temperature falls below 60 degrees. It kind of takes that frog fishing back out. So that's kind of the magic mark for me and my personal fishing is that 60 degree mark when I'm going to be throwing that frog, I'm going to be using it on braided line, um, going to be using it on bait casting equipment throwing it uh, around that matted vegetation and, and all those other places I described. Uh, don't, don't just think it's, it's only in that vegetation. Throw that frog anytime you want to get a topwater bite. You're liable to catch a big one like I do all the time with that Spro Bronze Eye 65.